The candy, the candy, the candy cooking. Well, in the middle of a kidney pie. <laughs> Your Majesty slips. Your Majesty is dagger to the king. The boy is attacking the king. God, God. Get his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Your Majesty! You dare attack the king? No! For this, I will see you die slowly. Nonsense! The lad saved my life! And where do you hail from? I, I have no home, sire. I was raised by a kind herd of wild cows. That'll come up later. Well, <clears throat> From this day forward, you are Sir Chomsey. I dub thee Knight of the Realm and grant you vast tracts of land in the Shinto Plains, along with the use of my mighty sword, Grim Thwacker. <laughs> it served me well in defending the kingdom from the evil, insatiable, terrifying horde. Okay, now we can get to the game. I am Cronus Mela. His Majesty has asked that I give you this deed to the Shimto Plains, garden spot of the kingdom. Really? Trust me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, his character's name is officially the Evil Chancellor, so I think they kind of gave it away a bit. All right, so first thing is a bit of a town sim. I'm gonna go ahead and build some trees right away. When trees finish growing, you can cut them down uh, for extra money. So I'm gonna just invest right now in trees and hope they grow as soon as possible. All right, and now the real-time strategy portion where the horde is now coming to attack my town. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Get their asses. All right, I caught them down. Cows are a good long-term investment. <laughs> yeah, buddy, you're telling me. I'm not gonna set up too many trees. First off, the houses are gonna knock them down already. Like, as as my town grows, I'm gonna try to keep them a little distance away, but this is gonna give me a good source of income for now, I think. So I need to make sure I keep enough money for my taxes coming up, uh, minus 20. Due to the recent bog wart plague, next year's taxes will be 70 crowns. So from my personal experience, this this secret haunch recipe is invaluable. So the haunch, I can spend a few coins uh, to drop a piece of meat near me, and that piece of meat will attract a lot of enemies and distract them. There's some enemies that are like nearly impossible for me to kill on my own, and it gives me an actual tool for being able to um, get their attention away from me to fight them. Okay, that went really well. Apparently, uh, the haunches are fucking cracked. I think I'm just gonna immediately run west and drop a haunch and kill them as they come to me. That seems like the best way to play this. Okay, so he's just gonna stand there and not help. I guess he was a little too far away, hmm? I gotta put him near the edge. Apparently that is not how that works. I figured he would take at least a step, you know? I don't think it's unreasonable to be like, maybe you should take one step, right? Like, I don't think I'm the jerk there, is all I'm saying. No can do, boss. Union regulations, they gotta come to me. <laughs> yeah, that's extremely funny. Hi, I'm Priscilla, and I'm speaking for the Adopter Hordling Agency. <laughs> the agency helps in bringing happiness to human families I never saw by this allowing cutscene. them to adopt a hordling. These wonderful, well-mannered, and well-behaved creatures would make a warm addition to any household and provide mounds of entertainment. <laughs> what? Okay. Damn! He went in! My guy! That guy earned payroll. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... Just saying. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ranchers have been celebrating an unusually high birth rate among cows this year. 
but the party ended today when they found they were up to their noses in fertilizer. Luckily, farmers have agreed to buy it all and forecasts predict a superior crop next year. I don't like that guy. The fuck is with these cows? Stop killing natures, you fuckers. That knight is very good at his job. However much he's getting paid, it's not the right amount. I'll say that much. This guy is the best 30 gold per season I've ever paid for anything. Ah, my liege. I have established a thriving town, and I have rid the surrounding lands of the evil horde. Impossible! Do tell. How many of the foul beasts did you slay? A dozen? Oh, hundreds, my lord. Ah, they have returned. I knew it after all these years. I give you this Medal of Valor, granting you the exalted title Master of the Shimto Plains. <laughs> these cutscenes are very good. They're at least half of the reason to play this game, but this game is also very good, so that's the other half of the reason. Any headaches? Hmm? <laughs> Any sharp chest pains? <laughs> Ooh, ow, ow. Chancellor! Ah, Chauncey! How are you feeling today? Never felt better. <clears throat> Here, this entitles you to the Tree Realms of Alberga. More gifts from King Winthrop. The Tree Realms of Alberga? Oh, I I've heard the trees there are like ancient beings, providing homes and shelter for the creatures of the forest. They speak as the wind blows through their branches. Chop them all down. Huh? The locals have some outdated beliefs about the sanctity of the forest. Tree spirits? <laughs> Environmentalist drivel. What about the cord, sir? Chop down the trees and they'll all go away. Trust me, boy. When the going gets tough, the tough go chopping. <laughs> I like that. New village just dropped. That's kind of where I'm at right now, that it might just be better to buy more cows rather than fences. Fences are weirdly not cheap. <laughs> I mean, I can probably protect the cows. The real play is to surround your knight with eight cows, right? Isn't that the play? When the guys eat the cows, they stand where the cow is, like with their belly full for a second. Certainly he would have enough time to thwack them, right? I don't know if it'll work, but... It does not seem like it works perfectly. My name is the Lorax, and I speak for the trees! I lost a villager and a few trees, but otherwise it didn't turn out that badly. He actually managed to handle most of them. It seemed like he couldn't get the corners. That's where he struggled. I got most of my crops and four villagers! Holy heckaroonie! In the news today, Sir Algeron Plump, the King's Minister of Comings and Goings, announced that immigration is at an all-time high, suggesting that the new Friends Fly Free policy is working. What? What was any of that? That guy just wants to get his hand on the ball. That's not... That, he said... He didn't say anything. <laughs> Eight villagers dead is nothing. That That is a loss I can handle. At limit. Oh, okay, there's actually a cow limit. They don't want you to have a lot of money and then basically just like keep doubling it essentially, I guess. Look at them wag their tails. The cows are good boys. That guy's getting paid extra. Call for the knights. Sir Chauncey is in the court of your enemy, King Borgo, plotting to overthrow your kingdom. Chauncey? That doesn't sound like Chauncey. Are you sure, Chancellor? Let me lead a small army and capture the little fiend. Announcing the arrival of Sir Chauncey of Alberga, master of the Shimto Plain. The tree realms of Alberga have been cleansed of the hordling menace. And the people? Prosperous and content, my lord. They dance happy jigs, they sing praises for your majesty's name, and best of all, they pay their taxes on time. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> In honor of your great achievement, Sir Chauncey, I give you this medal. <laughs> Let me tell you about the cow you population. The new title, Protect 
nectar of the tree realms of Alburga. Thank you, sir.